Alright, Reincarnated Soul from Castlevania series. Well, the first uh, the first Reincarnated Soul you heard of was from the Sega Genesis Castlevania, Bloodlines, which is a really good game. Then, the other Reincarnated Soul track that played right after that is um, from Castlevania The Adventure Rebirth on the uh, Nintendo Wii. Another fantastic game as well, too. Honestly, really good like music track too. Uh, Reincarnated Soul. Yeah. Well, let's see. Today's October thirty first. It's Halloween. So yeah. Yep. Yeah. Pretty much, you know, a day where yeah, you know, people go trick or treating and usually some wild stuff going on. But yeah. And well, <laughs> well, why not have some, uh, you know, some Halloween related for an opening picture? So yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, picture of Blair from Soul Eater, and Soul Eater is like heavily like Halloween themed anyway, like the whole series in general. Like these characters are based off you know different, um, yeah, like you know, different like Halloween and like monster. Um, like stereotypes and all that, you know, vampires and witches and zombies, all that. So yeah. So yeah. So anyway, um, well, since it's Halloween, I'm gonna be do, doing something like horror related in a way, I'd say. But but I'm gonna be doing a game called Faith, which came out not too long ago. It um. Like, it's supposed to be some kind of, like, horror game with Atari 2600-style graphics. And, don't get me wrong, I played Atari 2600, you know, like, long ago. I remember my grandparents having it. Well, they had the Atari 7800, but that was a, um... But the 7800 was backward compatible to Atari 2600 games, which was a huge plus. You know, Atari was ahead of their time back in the days having backward compatible and... Honestly, I all have to say backward compatibility. Uh, backward compatibility, it it's fantastic. It's a fantastic feature, but not all our consoles do it today because it makes the console more expensive for some some awkward reason. But whatever. And yeah, the picture of Blair I use for for. Well, honestly, she is my favorite from Soul Eater. So, and yeah, I've 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 seen Blair cosplayers when I was at Anime Boston. So you know, I've took pictures of them and. You know, I had a good time, so. Anyway, I'm going to set up Fate, so give me one moment. Oh, not to mention, I found a way to actually, like, get, like, a window capture of a game. If I'm playing the game windowed, I can actually, like, just capture the window instead of, like, adjusting it while I was, like, last doing. So, in future streams, I might just set it up just for that. So, I'll, I'll tinker around and see how everything works, so. Just one moment. Gonna open up Faith. Here we go. But yeah, it's two like EXEs for Faith. One is um for window and the other for full screen, but I'm doing windowed. So yeah. Game starting up. Okay, and Okay. Um Properties. Here we go. September 21st, 1987. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. So far, so good. And I hope it works on my controller. And it does. Nice. Nice. So, let's see. Instructions. To move. Yep. Okay. It's using the D-pad. Okay. Here we go.
Okay, feeds it, okay. And here we go. Um Oh just one minute, I'm just doing uh see is it extra nope. Just begin the game. Yeah. yeah. I've seen people stream it, but I definitely want to like just give this game a shot myself. And we got Spider-Man coming after us. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. Is that a dead dog or a dead squirrel? What is this? Oh, I see the rocks make that pentagram uh, thing. Man, am I playing Faithful or am I playing Deer Hunter? Well, the graphics, you know, since they're Atari 2600, like. Or old like Apple II, because it kind of looks like Oregon Trail. You know, the original Oregon Trail that came out during the 80s. Oh, such a fantastic game. Speaking of Oregon Trail, if one I like. Ah! Got me right off screen. I got jumped by Spider Man. I want those pictures, Parker! Go away, chum. Yeah, getting jumped from off screen is never cool. But alright. Get out of here, son. Oh well. Oh boy, I hope this is not the ring. If anyone's seen the ring, you know what I'm talking about. What do we got here? You're invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday, Saturday, May 3rd, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Directions turn right at 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road and go straight past the well. Well, but it's the big show! Be gone! If you don't have a cross, maybe give that spider the bird. You know, give him the finger. <laughs> I don't know if that might make him run. That was a little cemetery. Mr. Martin. Turn the marker, turn the copy. Daryl Henderson. Well, at least it's not uh, Daryl Dixon from The Walking Dead. You know, played by um, was Norman Reedus. Did I just walk through him? Holy crap! Damn! Man, it feels like I'm walking through the Lost Woods from Legend of Zelda. I think the areas loop around until you go the right path. <laughs> voice acting. I think they did like radio voices and they had like down samplers to like, what was it, 8-bit or something like that to make the voices sound like that. Kind of interesting, to be honest. Uh, 
Did I just loop around? Okay, I'm looping around here. Boom! Found some bones, son. Them bones. I feel so alone, surrounded by all these bones. I feel so alone, I got enough uh, of them bones. You know, them bones are uh, by Alice in Chains. That was the name of a movie too, Kevin Fear. That was a, that was a pretty decent film. Wait, so those bones of a deer. Oh, okay, we're at the shed. Since we get to the shed first, we can actually get to the house next and unlock the door, so we're good. Mars house lies about a hundred yards off of Snake Meadow Hill Road. Oh, no driveway. Trees just, you know, trees jut out in the middle of a, uh, of a gravel path. Okay, why does it remind me of, what's that movie, Cabin in the Woods? Anyone seen that movie? Well, I don't know if it reminds me of Cabin in the Woods. Well, it's a house that's in the woods, so... Eh, whatever. Okay, we're in the house now. Oh, no you don't. No you don't, Spider-Man. No you don't. No you don't. Okay, we've got the... we got the key to the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bugger off. Get out of here. Okay, so go this way and I think up. Uh, worst case scenario, I just, Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Nope, you get out of here. Yo! I got the ringleader. I'm not running that cabin again, I'm just gonna just go right and up or something like that. No! Crack me up. Oh, this music's good. I can't, I can't complain. I like this music. I don't know, it sounds like Moonlight Sonata in 8 bit. I think that's what it's trying to sound like. Almost, it, it almost sounds like it. Ah, you missed me, Spider-Man! Well, it could be that Connery's Dr. Octopus, or whatever he's called, you know, from the PS1 Spider-Man game. You know, where Carnage and Dr. Octopus become one and become the alley. Monster Oc, I believe it was called. Okay, so we got the key. We're now in the house. That's cool. Okay, so we're just walking around in here. Just gonna check around this case. <laughs> All right. The reason I crossed the scare off thing is 
Uh, why does it remind me of Exorcist? The power of Christ compels you! <laughs> the TV, a couch. Oh, it's a plant. The plant seems to be standing out. Alright. Okay, door's locked, I guess. It's on the fridge. What is that? It looks like a wizard and, like, some kind of, like, tree monster from... You know, like, some kind of ant. It looks like a corrupted ant or something. Is that a pumpkin? Okay. Things the basement? Basement. Oh there's a mannequin. Oh mannequin. Oh man. Oh mannequin. A cobweb right here. What's this? Cobweb. Oh. <sighs> Pagan religion. Uh, hmm. Saint Death. What? Um. Yeah, I am a rather qu quick reader, but, yeah. Uh, okay. Man, not to mention, you know, like, the lack of music in the series, it, it's really giving, like, that, like, tension. Like, <laughs> and if I had, like, that room transition music from Sword Quest, uh, Waterworld, you know, doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo. That'd be pretty funny. Oh boy, is this condemned? You know, con condemned criminal origins, you know, the mannequins that attack you to ignore one. Sewing machine over here. And that's one of these mannequins that have to have something. They have sheets over them. Oh boy, there's a ritual right there. That's a ritual. Okay. Right. Um. Oh boy. What the heck? He is here. Did I just teleport? <sighs> uh, I just kind of felt like needles. It you know, that moment, like, me you feel stoked that, you know, how you, you have a tingling feeling. I kind of felt that. Right up there. Guess I gotta go off. What's this? Okay, 
Okay, this music's really it's starting. It's really unnerving. Oof. I got curb stomped. More this. I remember you can't skip cutscenes. He is here. She is here. Yeah, I just want to get the uh, notes again. Man, I'm, I'm like feeling a lot of like tension going on here. Bathroom. Duck. Better on the house at night. Attention. Get out of here. What you got? <laughs> Guess. First floor. Jump me again. You little punk. You little punk. He is here. Honestly, for like 2600 style graphics, like, they really know how to, like, do those kind of cutscenes. Pretty nice, to be honest. Get uh, okay, in bed. I'm gonna grab all the notes again. Tension here. A lot of tension. Tension, tension, tension. Get out of here, you fool. Scram! Hey, Simon, on the bottom right. I played Simon. Fun game. Is flashing. Etch a sketch. Cool. Whew. Man, this game really makes you feel unnerved. I don't know, like, really old style graphics like this, it really does make things. It really does make things a little more, like, creepy. In some ways. Family for, uh, portrait. I'm going to search around for a bit. I think I'm supposed to go in the back now. Not this time, chump. Door open upstairs, okay. Time to backtrack. Backtracking. Da -da -da. I think that's like all, all the uh, things I'd scare off. 
Her door open back. Oh, here. Okay, no music. So on the green. Oh, this is gonna be the boss fight, if I remember. Karen, uh, the church might contact you in a few days. The, the version of what happened. Here. Okay. The exorcism of being wrong. Oh, this is really now the exorcist. Holy crap. Part of the house and her own parents with their own. My God, what happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. She died, priest. Well, at least the voice acting. <laughs> Get kind of release tension. Plus the music too. The music here is pretty good. Oh, I think I gotta keep doing more this. More God, what happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. She's my priest. Yeah, so that great ghost spirit I can't get with the cross. So I just have to like run around. Okay. Okay, get him over here. Come at me, bro! And here we go. It really reminds me of Wrath from Full Metal Alchemist. Okay, first phase. Ouch. Well, I know. Well, I'm supposed to. If I get the one above or below, I, I move to the side. But from the sides, I move up or down. Bring it, Wrath! Oh, whoops. <laughs> Okay, just like that, move out of the way. Okay. Okay. Best to stay center. Okay, move. There we go. Yeah, I was hitting the one, the right one. Didn't, uh, didn't really have much deal. Okay, just juked it. Probably would take a while to get through though, honestly. I 
repaired as well on the side one. Okay, phase two. Uh, yeah, this is the one where, where she like moves around like in a pentagram style. But you do have a safe zone to be exact. Well, sort of. Trying to like Boy. not get in, uh, get in our way while I do the thing. At least the cross has range though. Okay, to the right. I was not expecting that. <laughs> it's gonna take a while, I know that. Uh... Now I gotta start getting real danger close here. Ah. Boys. Oh, I see. If I step in there, then... Okay, so... Try again. Symbols like hit me, like I just don't have I just don't have the time to react. Boom! Through the window. Okay. 
Okay, that's it. Okay, there's the gun. Oh, yeah, reverse says kill her. A gun with one bullet. But, well, the game has five different endings, and I'm gonna do, uh, well, I'm not gonna do that ending where it, you know, where you, see, uh, you know, where you shoot her with the, um, uh, the gun. Because I've seen that ending, like, the cop uh, pulls the guy over and, you know, you know busts him for murder, even though the girl was possessed by a spirit. I've seen all the endings and like how to obtain them. It's gonna do is just head back to the car. Go to the car. Yep. Boom! Take that. So yep, that was fate. One of the enemies. I will say of the war, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the war my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him, therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. So of the five endings, I don't know if this is the true one or not, but yeah. And Faith Endures, ending 5 of 5. So, uh, so yeah, I guess this was the true ending, like the actual ending, I'm not 100% sure. But, uh, yep, that was Faith. Yep, police, animal experts, investigate Chupacabra remains found near Sterling. Oh, am I watching, uh, oh, wait, what, uh, what is it, Nedrimo now, with Chupacabras? Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut. And the remains of an uh, unidentified animal were uh, found near Ster uh, Sterling. The remains of an animal which the residents of the colony Chupacabra were discovered on, on Snake Metal Hill Road by a by motorists yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorists who discovered the remains had told them they appeared to be of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that the remains were of some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here, said a strong police spokesman. It's clearly not a deer or a coyote. It is a mountain lion. Wait, if it's a mountain lion or a sock pet that escaped from its owner or an animal with rabies, we need to know about. It. Dude, it's a gigantic spider, Lily Spider-Man or something like that. Animal experts. Uh, attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found, although they commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets, the vitamin B deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. Wow. No, but not vitamin B, I mean vitamin D. Oh, you, you can get to do the other endings, too. Alright. A gun with one bullet. 
Oh, right now, let's, let's, let's do the other endings. But yeah, that was a true ending, I believe. Ending. Wait, can I? Uh, wait, can I use that on the corpse? One minute. Ah, corpse isn't there anymore. I pro probably not. Even if I did try. Okay, so. Snag on the tree. We got stuck on a tree. There's the well. And here we go. Oh yeah, you gotta walk in the front of it. Oh, whatever. Five-O! Step on the gas! Yep, one of five, murderer. Police arrest me and accuse of murdering missing girl. Yep. John Ward. Alright, second ending. Okay, let's do the third ending. Okay, third one is I think the deer, then there's another one with another animal, and then just and the young ones just leave it all getting the gun. Try to find the deer, because that leads to another ending. Oh, I think it was this one. Oh, oh, come back here, you fart knocker! I don't know if I'm supposed to shoot it. Yeah, there we go. This is one of the other endings.
Okay, yeah, it was descending. Okay, we killed that thing. It was a spirit. Okay. Oh, yeah, the deer was that way, if I remember correctly. All right. So you killed the spirit. Okay. Okay, the spirit is dead. Next ending. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid. Oh, oh no! Spider Man! Father and son. You're wrecked by Spider Man! Hey, what's up, Mason? Pause the game when the white thing is on screen. Uh, uh, oh, alright, yeah, I'll, I'll try to do that. Okay, that's three of the uh, five endings. Okay, the fourth one. Okay, let's do the fourth one. Yeah, the deer. Well, this ain't Oregon Trail, but whatever. Okay, this is gonna be one of the other endings. All right. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will hey, trust. Ador. I shall not be afraid up, of the terror. Oh yeah, this is a... Uh, this is a pretty... Uh, how can I say it, like... Pretty interesting game, that's uh... That's why I have to say. Like, I definitely like the old, like, Apple II, like, style graphics. Like, it really feels... You know... It feels old school. Ending four or five, the hunter. And then my body just carried near a car. And never mess with deer. Whew. Mess one like that, they're just gonna beat the living hell out of you. <laughs> oh, that Oregon Trail reference. 
From white-tailed deer, a hunter typically gets 75 pounds of meat. However, if he is a victim of the accident, he was only able to carry 15 pounds back to the car. Okay, that's a nice reference. I like the Oregon Trail. Yep. Definitely got the re uh, reference. Now, now, if there was a, if there was a, uh, was it, um, a dysentery reference, also from Oregon Trail, that'd be, that'd be cool as well too. But yeah. But, uh, uh, but yeah, I do like some of the references I've seen here and there. They're pretty cool. Like every time I see that well, all I can think of is, um, you know, from the ring. You know, uh, yeah, this well. Maybe in the sequel. Yeah, definitely think about it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I always like those like nice little references. Like. It, you always find some really, like, really cool stuff, you know, when you like figure out the reference. But yeah, speaking of Oregon Trail, I've, I've also played that. Um, uh, what was that one? Uh, the Oregon Trail. Yeah, you know, it was like, you know, it's basically Oregon Trail but with zombies. That was a really great game. The sending is really awesome. Uh oh, cultists. That's it, ending through five for the offering. But yeah, I did get all the other endings. You know, I got the one where you kill that spider monster, then that other one where we shoot the girl, and then, and of course, the other ones, you know, um, you get attacked by the spider guy in your car, you um, get attacked by the deer, and of course, the cultist. But yeah. <laughs> Leave it alone. Wait like a minute, really? Um, wait, just leave it alone. Just uh, don't go all the way to the bottom. So just wait a minute. All right. Okay, I can hear music. Wait, it's just, um, chanting? Oh, this is kind of cool, to be honest. No chin. Oh, interesting. She be close to the nature. All right. Oh, and I have a question too. Of the five endings they get in this game, uh, which one is the like actual true ending? Because uh, honestly, uh, the one where you kill the spider with a gun, I kind of think that's like the true one, but I'm not a hundred percent sure.
Oh, when faith endures. All right, so that's the one when he kills the you know the spider guy. All right. I've been calling that thing Spider Man, but uh, okay, so. Alright, so. So that one is the true ending. Cool. I kind of figured that was the true ending. Oh, there are elements of truth. Yeah, yeah. Hope see you there, Gary. Huh. Yep, so that's all the endings right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what happens uh, if I just go back to the car without just, um. You know, just you know, without using the gun. Yeah, because all five endings I did use a gun to shoot, like. You know, the specific things to get the ending. Well, the white thing attack during the ending, right? Cool. I'll definitely check it out. Oh, not to mention, too, the music, like, the one that plays in the beginning when you have to go to the house and everything, it, like, it reminds me of, um, Moonlight Sonata in some way. Like, I don't know if that music is kind of based on it, or... Oh. Yeah, I got crushed by it. Alright, so I guess that's if I, if I don't, um, if I don't get the gun. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. If, uh, yeah, I was supposed to pause when the thing attacks. Yeah, yeah. I apologize. Yeah, you know, my mind just wasn't functioning right. right. You know, because I was just more focused on getting to the car, and then I just forgot about it. Translated eight bit chipset. Sweet. But yeah, I was wondering, is, like, every single, like, music track in this game, like, based off different, like, like, songs, or are the majority of them are just original? A fun fact, Lane's letter to Amy about Sandler Mar uh, Amira is literally a page from, uh, from my journal when I was, like, really? Oh, that is awesome. Sweet. Oh, I see. That's a neat little feature. Alright, not to mention too, like, okay, all the music based on classical music, boss battles, dreams of, of, of witches, oh, dreams of witches, Sabbath by Hector uh, Berlioz, but play backwards, oh nice! And I was wondering too, like, um, when you made this game, like, what got you, like, kind of like, like, the idea of, like, uh, I don't know what to say, like, in general, like, you know, like, the whole, like, theme of this game, like, you know, the setting, the story, all the, you know, all, like, the horror elements and everything. But, uh, like, I, I always wondered, because, 
Like, the whole concept of this game is, you know, it is really fantastic. Horror game that could scare people using only basic craft. You know, I can't blame you on that because with the um, you know basic graphics, you know, you know, I always find like more like basic graphics when it comes to horror. Like I, game that looks like or on shelf feel like PT. Oh yeah, PT. Yeah. Now I remember. Uh, You know, that's a good concept, yeah. yeah. You got the feel of PT with Oregon Trail graphics. That definitely works, yeah. I, I really need to play through PT because I, I still have that downloaded on my PS4. I need to just do like one playthrough of that someday. Yeah, I agree there. You know, horror games just jump scares. I want uh, because with horror, it's not really just like jump scares. You know, you have like you know the feeling of fear, you have tension, and you have, like, build-up to, like, what's gonna be, like, really, like, like, scary and everything, you know, and, and, you know, basically all that stuff, because, you know, if I watch, like, the old, like, Friday the 13th movies, you know, I can feel, like, the, you know, like, the build-up to, like, like, the horror and everything. My cock is in my will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I, need to I play have Resident my Evil so I heard that game was really good. Therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. The night first sound. Nice. Oh, that's cool. A real uh, exorcism expert. That's cool. I imagine all the exorcism stuff. It does remind me of the movie, uh, The Exorcist. That was a good movie, too. Hey, uh, hey, anytime, Eredorf. You know, uh, hey, come back anytime, you know. Uh, you know, pretty much this game you made, Fate, you know, it's fantastic. And any other games you could be making in the future, I'll definitely be uh, looking forward to those. You know, definitely keep up the awesome work, man, and hey, have a good night, and ha have a happy Halloween. Because, yeah, since I pretty much got all the endings, I'm just going to, like, switch my next game for tonight, because I'm going to be continuing Shadowrun. So, yeah, man, you know, you know, have a good night, man. Keep up the awesome work. Okay.
Okay, so that was fate. And yeah, that was definitely nice. To, uh, that was definitely nice of um, of the, uh, the creator, um, uh, uh, Airdorf. Uh, that was uh, yeah, that was nice of him to uh, to show up and you know chat a bit. You know, like I said, you know, a really cool game, and I'll definitely be seeing more like you know, I definitely want to see more cool stuff uh, from Airdorf in the future. So. Yeah, thumbs up to you, man. You know, definitely, you know, definitely a fantastic game. And I'll, de I'll definitely, um, yeah, I'll definitely check out like, like what other stuff you could be, um, you could be making, you know, sometime down the road. But rock on, man! No, I'll definitely, I'll definitely look forward to, to your other work. So, anyway, guys, that's fate. A great game, and I'll be right back. I'm gonna go set up Shadow Run. So, I'll be right back. I'm going to play different music. Um...